hello everyone so today i am going to work on uh, making the car of this ai car system uh, steer smoothly so as you can see here now when the car is taking brains uh, it can take the bends very smoothly actually earlier in the earlier method i had there was somewhat of a wiggling car into sides but now that is avoided guys going in a nice smooth curve just to demonstrate what it was like before uh, here let me open the car blueprint and show you so this is the previous steering method i had so let me switch to the older one this predict path is the new steering method so with the previous method you will see when the car is in a bend it somewhat wiggles into the sides if i enable slow mo 0.2 you should see it more clear see car is turning a bit and turning a bit to the left and to the right so maybe it's too slow see so it's not smooth in the real time also we can see that so it's like turns with steps not continuously so so actually i uh, did a full video on how did i implement this function but for some reason that uh, the recording of that video or uh, didn't go well for some reason it's fps is very low so uh, uh, instead i'm just gonna show you i will put uh, in, instead i'm just gonna show you how did i implement this and explain so oh, that would be enough enough hopefully hopefully in any case i'll put the a link to the original video also but there keep that in mind the recording quality is not good so this is what happens here uh yeah this is what i'm doing here let me explain it uh if let me take a screenshot and explain In a place like this um, so when in a place like this this is the path the car should be going let's say this is the path it should be going I'll make the path red and this fire okay it's not perfect the drawing but yeah this is the path the car should be going then what i am doing here is uh, the car uh, do a prediction um let me keep the original color black yeah so so what happens now is the car is doing a prediction where it would go if the car keep the current um, steering amount for example let's say the car had some steering amount and if the car keeps that car will go on a path like this at this point so what the core what the function does is if the car ends up in a location like this instead of when it wants to go in this path it turns to the right and based on the current uh, steering amount of the car it car has if the car is oh wait if the car is going 
on a path like this what it does is it turns to the left so it continuously adjusts the path the car is taking uh, through that function that's what basically happens in the new steering method so how the function is implemented let me explain the, so here we first get the current location of the car we save it into this uh, local variable called predicted location and also we get the current velocity of the car we save it as the also uh, the velocity and then we calculate the distance from the current location of the car to the target point that is that represents a point along the spline of the road that as the next point the car need to reach and by dividing the length of the velocity vector this distance we get the time with the current velocity it would take to reach that point and then by dividing it 5 and I have saved it as a time step so here what I'm trying to do is uh, instead of because we can't draw a perfect a perfect curve so instead I'm going to do an approximated curve that is like uh, segments of lines segments of the straight lines that approximates the curve the car would be taking that's what I'm trying to do here so here we have this steer yaw calculated like this considering the velocity and the current rotation of the car to represent how much the car would be rotating at the end of this each segment of the lines so the line segment let me explain it again this image i didn't save it before so let me draw the so yeah let's say this is the predicted path the the car would be taking the current steering amount it has okay now we can't have a perfect car a perfect curve so what I am instead what I am going to do is I'm going to draw a series of lines like this that approximate this curve so this is what I'm doing in that code. And that's what happens here. So here I draw that line just for demonstration purposes and draw a line from the last predicted point to the actual target point that we need to go here. So and based on those data let me just visualize this for now and explain again now you can see these initial values are invalid just ignore them so here you can see the car is dropping lines and this black line represents the difference between the predicted point and the point the car needs to reach so the car is continuously adjusting its steering amount to match the actual location car needs to go so yeah so you can see the car is going a pretty nice curve here okay so that's basically what's happening so let me again explain this part so once we draw a line segment considering the predicted location and the velocity and the amount the car will move in this time step with this velocity we get another point consider it as a line end and then i update the predicted location with this last point and velocity update it by rotating with this stereo that we calculated here that represents the amount the car will turn at the end of that line segment 
and consider that as the new velocity vector so in the next iteration we will do in this we will be doing the same thing with updated predicted location and the velocity and after five steps we will have the final uh, predicted location and we have the actual target location the gun needs to reach and we draw another line the black line these are green lines this is the black line that i showed you in the demonstration so that represents the difference between the predicted location and the target point and then we calculate the rotation from the current location of the car to the predicted point and then again from the location of the car to the actual point the car needs to go and consider the delta so here this difference in your will tell us whether to turn the car to left or to right so based on this value we change the steering amount and steer the car so that's basically what's going on here in the new steering method and this is the final demonstration so all right uh, let me just disable these lines otherwise they can be a bit messy and let's consider the larger map so here here you see the cars are going pretty smoothly so yeah that's the new steering mechanism and as always project files will be available here for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work uh, you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye